Morning guys, welcome back to the shop. Here's a quick little RV10 update, working on the panels still. I've got the doubler plate riveted on now, and I'm going to show you that. This is uh, one of the pages out of the, the plans. This is page 41Q-4 for the RV10. Um, there's a couple of pages that talk quite a bit about how to do doublers based on the size of the cutouts that you make, and you have to usually make a cutout in the sub-panel because of the length of the radio stack, and that's the way mine is with the uh, Garmin 650. So this is laying upside down on the bench here. There's my doubler. Um, they call out all the specs on the size of rivets and spacing and the materials to use. Um, I'm kind of going off in the experimental world. So here again, um, if you're following along and uh, doing some of the same stuff, uh, which is what I do on the internet, if you find some picture or something that explains how to do it and how someone else did it uh, usually can give you a good jump start uh, but you want to be careful that you you recognize how or why they made decisions to do it the way they did um, and you, you, I could still run into issues with this stuff as I continue forward so uh, keep that in mind um, look a few videos ahead of uh, in my sequence here if you're uh, real curious about it or, or thinking along the same lines um, stuff that I did differently this is they call for 32 thousandths uh, material here for this doubler. So this is a doubler, not angles. You can do it either way. If you did angles, you'd do 63 or 62 thousandths angle if it's extruded, and you do 32 thousandths angle if it's bent. And this is bent, and it's heavier than 32. This is the doubler plate, and it's heavier than 32. It's 62 thousandths. So, so I've got overbuilt stuff. And so I also was unable to do uh, the spacing as close as they called for. And in here, I'm probably narrower from one row to the other. And then I didn't put any extras up in here other than the two up there. And this was a scrap piece I had from, uh, I think that was part of the battery box that I didn't use. I, I created my own out of extruded material because this had a really good bow in it, which I just didn't want to pull that in. They, they tell you in the plan you can pull it with Glico's as you do it. So... Anyway, that's where that came from. That's why it's thicker material. Um, I'll come around the, uh, this is the forward side. And I put the, uh, this would be typically, you want to try to put rivets through from the forward side, if, if there's a choice. And I like putting the rivet head on the thinner material side. So this stuff is probably 32. I didn't measure, but I think it's 32 thousandths. So the stuff on the back side is thicker so I put the head on the thinner side, that way it uh, pulls it together nice and holds it good. And if you did it the other way, the thin material tends to get uh, deformed when you set the rivet. So that's the sink in there. Um, I put these back in then, and they go clear through that angle on the other side. And I put those in from the front. Um, that's it for now. See you next time.